welcome back to Living Faith Homestead. This is Jamie and today we are going to make a fun garden project using an old wagon wheel and some herbs. So this is the part of the garden that I'm going to use to put the herb bed in. So the first thing I did was lay down cardboard to kill off the weeds and so the weeds don't grow up through um, through anything. So now I'm just going to cover this cardboard with wood chips. Alright, so I got the cardboard covered in about three inches of wood chips and um, the wood chips are really broken down quite well. They make really good compost for your garden. Alright, so this is the wheel that I'm going to use for the herb bed and I don't know, I gotta think about this for a few minutes. Um, I think I might actually take the wood chips out of in between here, in between each one, and just put soil in there. Cause I don't think I want to plant on top of the wood chips like that. Cause I have to fill it in with soil. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the wood chips out of the, in between all the spaces and then just fill with garden soil. All right, so I went ahead and took all the wood chips out of there, which I should have just put the wagon wheel down first and then put the wood chips around it. But live and learn, I guess. So now I'm just filling in all the spaces with garden soil. All right, so I got all the spaces filled in with dirt and I got everything that I want to plant in this place. And I also have some plants I picked up from the nursery this week. I got these plants that I got from the nursery. I got some basil, some little white flowers, some little purple flowers, and some parsley. I just thought the flowers would look really pretty in there. All right, so I think I will start with the things that I got at the nursery, and I will plant those first. So I think we will start with the parsley. All right, we got the parsley all planted back there. So over here, we're gonna do some chives. All right, so we got our chives all planted in there and I'm just gonna throw some, a little bit of garden soil over the top of them. So we'll leave the chives back there so I know I planted it. Next, we are going to plant some zinnias. I got two different kinds. Semi-dwarf and cactus mixed colors. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just loved it. I thought it was a wonderful idea. You could even just do one of these with just flowers and it'd be just as nice. But I figure why not grow some food in it too? Put some garden soil and our zinnias are all planted. Over here, I think I will do maybe the white flowers. Let's loosen up the roots a little. All right, in this next row over, we are going to plant some thigh basil. All right, just gonna spread them out. And thin them later. All right, this one, we are going to do some more parsley. All right, so in this space, we're going to plant some basil. This is stuff I got from the nursery. It looks really, really good. Starting to get late. Now the mosquitoes are coming out.
I like to grow a lot of basil because I use it in my homemade spaghetti sauce. Pizza sauce and I got one left, but we'll put that in the garden because I don't, I don't think I can fit it in here. Yeah, I think I might be able to if I move them over. So I'm so glad it's finally warmed up enough so we can actually get outside and garden, get our stuff in the ground. It's supposed to be really nice all weekend. We're having a little bit of a dry spell. No rain expected for a while or a really low chance of it. Anyway, we'll put the little basil marker up here. All right, in this spot, we're going to grow some catnip. I've never actually grown catnip before. Probably all the stray cats around. I love that. We'll just cover it with some more soil. that one is done and in this one we are going to put some chamomile chamomile usually germinates really quickly and I probably put way too many seeds in there We're just going to lightly cover that. All right, and that one is done. All right, and here we're going to plant some, some dark opal basil. This packet got a little bit wet, but the seed is still good, so it's kind of stuck to the seed packet. This is really pretty when it grows, too. It's Really pretty color. We're just gonna put all these seeds in here because this package has had better days. We're just gonna cover them with more soil. Just a little bit. And then this one, I'm actually gonna leave empty. I'm just gonna leave it empty because I think I wanna get some more flowers to put in this one. All right, so in this one here, I just put some more basil. It's um, holy basil, this kind is. And then in this side, we are going to put some sage. And we're not gonna use the whole packet because these things grow big. cover with soil again. These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. And then we only have one more space to plant. All right, so in our last space, I'm going to put in some spearmint. Cover it up. Now you're just going to want to water it real good. 
All right, so a spearmint is planted and the ones that are up, I'm going to just go ahead and put the wood chips back over them because um, they, it will keep them moist and I won't have to water them because I hate watering. So anyway, when the rest of the herbs come up and the flowers, then I can put wood chips over all of it and it'll look really nice. But anyway, that's our herb wheel and flowers too. All right guys, we are done for now. And it's already looking nice and as the season goes on, it will look even more beautiful. So I thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.